I am going to solve some free quiz that is an API 570 uh, piping inspector full course uh, from trading and inspection services. So you could just see uh, solve them one by one. Question number one. API recommended practice 574. This is piping inspection practice. Um, is for does not cover which one of the following. So as you can see, it's a piping. It covers uh, you know piping less than two inch, tubing and fitting, but it does not cover obviously the control valves. A control valve is covered by API 598, and we have written here the. Number two, refining industry generally uses what type of piping for severe service? So there are four answers here, as you can see, brass, cast, seamless, language, and all symbol. Uh, now, obviously brass and cast is not for high pressure. These are utility bulbs and uh, they are used. And uh, language, and all symbol, uh, but there is always a uh, 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 risk of leak from them. So if it's high pressure and it is a severe service like H2S, sober service, uh, then uh, you normally want to use a seamless so you don't have a risk of uh, any building defects or etc. Piping is normally made by rolling plates and building the seams for pipe larger than uh, 16 inch so that's a normal industry practice that you can find in api 570 this piece of information um, seed and alloy piping also manufactured to standard dimensions up to uh, 48 inch so you got anything up to 48 inch 36 24 48 12 inch and 10 inch 18 inch etc so these are standard pipes. Anything above that would be like tailored to mate. And I'm not piping also manufactured to a standard thickness designates as a schedules in nominal thickness up to uh, 36 inch. So uh, normally uh, here we are talking about the nominal thickness or the schedule. So if you want anything and thicker than the normal one, then you have to order it. So here again is 36 inch. Uh, actual thickness of road piping may vary from its nominal thickness by manufacturing tolerance of as much as 12 and half percent. This can be uh, an exam question uh, that the tolerance is 12 and half percent. And we have brought the answer here. What does it mean? And there's a lot of other information that you can find here. Cast piping uh, uh, has a thickness tolerance of uh, 0 to 1 16th of an inch. Uh, so it can be less than what is it? Uh, the, the thickness has been asked for. And uh, it can be more than 1 16th of an inch. Okay. For all nominal pipe sizes of uh, 12 inch, the smaller the size refers to the nominal inside diameter. It's almost inside diameter. Of 12 inch is the outside, like 14 inch and etc. Next question, uh, under tolerance of the welded pipe used for piping manufacturing in the final service is, well, I take my chances, let's see which one is correct. So, as I mentioned, this is, uh, the reason is, look, they're using the plates, okay, the plates, according to the ASMA, uh, ASMA section 2 materials, and asthma section 8 
and also as in beta to 1.3 can be less than uh, 0.01 inch. So if a pipe is uh, manufactured from a plate, uh, the under tolerance cannot be less than uh, 0.1 inch. Okay. 0.01 inch. Tubing is generally seamless to control, but may also be built that its the stated size is actual outside diameter. Sorry. So look, uh, what uh, I made a mistake here was that I said outside radius is an actually should be outside diameter. So just to jump into question into answers uh, directly read it carefully all the four answers and so here we got outside or inside but then it's always the diameter we are talking about there is no more about radius okay this question there are many types of valve which one of the valve listed below is incorrect so if you have studied 598 you know we got gate valve group valve check valve, uh, ball valve, but there is never a style valve. We don't have anything as a style valve, so this is easy question. Okay. Uh, what type of valve is normally used in a fully open or fully closed position? And normally it's a gate valve because it's like a gate and it's not uh, normally uh, used when you want to cl uh, control the flow. So it's either stop or start. And I mean, if you give it's half way open, there might be a lot of erosion that that's not the bomb is uh, built to. So it's built for a uh, no pressure, either open or either close. What is a globe valve used for? Uh, used for a block valve, uh, regulated flow valve, And but this is very used. It's unlike the globe uh, gate valve. And so you 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 can put it at you know how how much close or how much open is it. You can regulate the flow this valve the globe valve. That's the use. What was the check valve normally used for? Uh, uh, so uh, it's a one-way valve, uh, automatically prevent backflow, right? So that is the answer. Uh, so we don't have surge or you know back floor. So that's why you use a check valve. What type of a pipe joint is generally limited to piping in non-critical service and has a nominal size of two inches or smaller? Um, uh, normally non-critical services. Um, you can use uh, both uh, threaded and joint or socket joint. So, but this is have a higher risk of leak and failure, and you don't use it for non-critical service or very high pressure, and um, also for a smaller size pipe. Socket welded joints are usually used in nominal pipe size of. Um, I think it's two inch. Let's see what's the answer. So some of them you need to memorize. See, yeah, yeah, that's two inch. Uh, after two inch, they call it uh, small bore piping. As you see, which of the joints listed is the most common problem in the petroleum industry? So uh, the compression joints, you know, you can leak because there is uh, it's just made by compression, so it can leak. I click and fit. Uh, so, uh, what will the joints? That's the strain joints, and so that's why they are used for uh, petroleum industry because you want to have uh, a good uh, uh, high strength uh, joint here. The primary purpose of piping inspection is to satisfy. Uh, and requirements of jurisdictional regulations here that could be achieve the lowest cost with the piping which is reliable uh, as the desired quality 
ensures plant safety and reliability also achieve the desired quality and assurance. So I think I would here, you know, there can be a couple of on fright, but I'm going to choose this one uh, because it's mostly about safety and reliability and also the desired quality. Uh, so I'm choosing the best answer as this one, which is turns out to be correct. Remember, there might be jurisdictional regulation, but all API always ask you to choose the best answer. OSHA is occupational safety and health. Uh, Monday start piping to be inspected as per 570. Owner user adult 5, 570 water piping be inspected with the same care as chemical piping owner immediately shut down the corroded piping system. Uh, so I think it is uh, I will choose this one. Let's see if I've chosen the right answer or not. Okay, so that was wrong. So actually, it's mandatory. Here, uh, when we say adopt, right? So this is also, I would say, right answer. But actually, here it's uh, this is a better answer uh, to be inspected to a cause such as APA pass. So it's because it's mandatory. Uh, you, it's when you say you adopt. When you say adopt it, that means uh, cannot go in strict. Uh, it allows the owner to uh, do some deviation, you know, as he wishes. But uh, and this is against the mandate when you say it's mandate. So, so I would say this is a better answer again. And the last question: regulatory requirement usually cover only those conditions that affect. Uh, so you got four answer here. Um, you know the operation they wouldn't really do that. I mean they usually do the maintenance also they wouldn't do that. So I would I'm rather more inclined to uh, regulation is always about safety or pollution. Okay. Um, so I'll take my chances and take this one safety, which I think is a better answer than pollution. And yes, that's correct because uh, you know, I mean, pollution also is important, but there is always a, a certain uh, pollution always exists, and there is an acceptance criteria for that. And if you are over that, there would be some fine, obviously. But safety is absolutely a mandate, and you cannot compromise safety. I mean, pollution you can get away with it, but uh, with safety you cannot. Uh, so if you can click on this, you can put your name, your email address, and uh, your, the result will be uh, emailed to your email and with all the tips and why uh, the reason for the right and wrong answer or better answer. Thank you for this was the uh, quiz, free quiz for API 570 Pipe Inspector that you can find and try for free and order one.